Hi everybody, it's Monday evening instead of Monday morning. Um, I had an art meeting today and then I had a, a, a painting play date with some friends. And um, what I did today was I used the Americana Decor Chalky Finish paint again and this time I used, um, it's called Vintage, it's kind of a nice green patina. And I used again my um, Whisper, which is kind of a creamy. And I painted a really old piece of pine that I had gotten in a as a door prize at my art retreat a couple of weeks ago. And it's a very dated looking piece, but now I've made it look this right side up, made it look uh, modern and ready to go. And this is a uh, I, I, you can put it on your dresser and you can put things on it, um, perfume bottles, uh, jewelry, your watch, or something like that. So um, I'm not quite finished with it. Uh, I used a, the, one of the deco art, um, uh, decor stencils, but I wanted to put an aged look on it. And I've done that a little bit right here. Um, what I used is the, the um, cream glaze the yeah that's what it is cream wax <laughs> and how I did it was now I've used my traditions paint on this before but today I wanted to see what um, Tim Holtz paint would do so I mixed put this in here correctly and okay spilled, some, spilled it don't ever try to do something with an open bottle of cream wax in your hand. You'll spill it. <laughs> okay. Um, so, okay, so that's really all I need right there. It's just a very little bit. Let me clean off the side of the, the jar and my fingers and everything else. Okay. Um, and then I wanted, I wanted this to have kind of a yellow look to it, my, my, um, my aging. I wanted to age it. So I used just a tiny bit of tea dye, Tim Holtz paint, and more scattered straw because, like I said, I wanted it to be yellow. I want it to be brown, but I wanted my brown to have a yellow cast. So I'm putting a lot more of the scattered straw on. I'm going to mix those two colors together. And then I, that's what I get is this little bit of a, an aged looking yellow. Then I'm just going to put a tiny little bit in with my cream glaze because that's all you need is just that tiny little bit. And if I need more to finish glazing, then I've still got this right here that I mixed up. So I'm going to move this over to the side, move my palette over to the side now. And I'm just going to take a piece of shop towel, got it in a little square, I get a cat hair off of it, um, and just fold it up and I'm just going to dip it into my wax mixture and then I'm going to just wipe it on. And I'm going to wipe it up here and around the edges. I've already got my two ends done and this uh, side done. A little bit more on there. And now I'm going to rub it on my centerpiece. And I'm just rubbing it. It will dry and then I'll buff it. But it's giving me that just a little bit of a yellow cast here and it's coloring my um, my stenciling, my, my Whisper Color Stencil, also it's giving it kind of a yellow aged look. If I miss some parts of it, it's okay because that's, it, that's how aging is. You know, it doesn't cover completely. It doesn't age the same in every spot. And I'm thinking about putting on some crackle here and there. So I've got this rubbed in. I'll make uh, one more batch so I can do the bottom. So I'm just kind of um, 
keep rubbing on this so that I can can get a thin coat and get it to dry quickly. I'm going to hit it with my heat gun real quick. If I get it too hot, my wax will melt, and that's not what my purpose is. So I'm going to pull out some Distress Rock Candy, Clear Rock Candy, Crackle Paint, and I'm going to find a, hmm, I want a scruffy brush. No, I think I'm going to use this. I haven't used this before. It's a Martha Stewart brush, and I got it with a with another um, a different kit. So I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to paint it here and there. No rhyme or reason, just randomly. And let's paint a little bit here and there. Because I don't want this crackling everywhere. I want it to be natural. Okay. And I'm going to let that dry. And when it dries, I'm going to take my scattered straw Tim Holtz paint. And boy, it's a messy bottle. And then I'm going to um, rub some of that into the crackling. I'm going to go ahead and hit this, see if I can get some of it dry. Alright, I see some good crackling starting right here. So that's where I'm going to put some of this on. I'm going to put this up close to you. And I'm going to take my rag. And I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and put it into this, um, to uh, the mixture that I made of the, of the, let's see, tea dye and scattered straw. And I'm just going to rub that in and get that on my crackling. Okay, and then I'll take some close-ups for you, but, um, you know, I just... I found that I really love working with this talkie paint and I know I can use traditions with it and I know now too that I can use Tim Holtz paint with it. So I'm going to have some fun with this. I'm, I'm posting some pictures of um, my friends and I with the, as, as we were um, spending time together today laughing and painting and, and uh, I hope you enjoy the pictures. So I will see you next week. Bye.